Howdy, this is Chuck with Simply Nuck, and this is the new Simply Nuck Long Life Mini AMD Ryzen Embedded System from Simply Nuck. The new Cypress. And what is Cypress? Cypress is a long life availability product, which means that you can obtain it for at least five to seven years, but it doesn't sacrifice on having the latest technology. You can drive four 4K 60 hertz screens with it or a 8K monitor. And although it has a great processor, it still can do graphics, including content creation, video rendering, video compression, and even light gaming. Let's take a look at it today. As usual, we have our uh, box, we have our uh, quick start guide, and inside the box we have our Visa mount kit, which has uh, screws. Uh, we have our 90 watt power supply. Starting from the right side, we have our illuminated power button. We have a USB 2.0 type A connector and a USB 3.2 Gen 2 10 gigabit type A connector. The green tree indicates that this is a, a Simply Nook AMD long life product. Uh, this is a prototype unit. Uh, on the side, you can see we have a large air ingress area for cooling, and it, you can see that the top and bottom of the board are both exposed. And this helps with cooling in industrial applications where there's higher temperatures. And then you can see our Kensington lock if you want to secure the uh, unit. At the top of the backside is a large heat exhaust area through which you can see the nickel-plated uh, copper heat sink. This is easy to clean with just compressed air through the back. On the left side, we have a 5.5 by 2.5 DC power jack, and the unit is supplied with a 19 volt, 90 watt power brick. We have two USB type C ports for 10 gigabit USB, as well as DisplayPort 1.4. So these will support up to four 4K at 60 hertz monitors, but we also have two HDMI 2.0B ports to also drive two, uh, two 4K at 60 hertz monitors. So a total of four 4K at 60 hertz or a single 8K 60 hertz monitor can be driven from the unit. And then we have a 2.5 gigabit copper ethernet port it is 10, 100, 1000 compatible as well. The lid is a re removable uh, lid and can be replaced with either cosmetic lids or with functional lids. Functional lids having electronics in the lids that need to be cooled. And as you can see, uh, Simply Nook has opened up vent holes in the top and there's the blower. And this allows for air to, to cool active electronics that are found in functional lids. And Simply Nook has now new uh, antennas. These are PCB antennas and they're higher gain than our previous generation of antennas. And then the two rectangular or uh, triangle-ish shaped holes are for running cables from the functional lid down into the unit to plug in inside. For cleaning, you can also re remove the lid and simply blow through these holes to clean the blower directly. There's no need to disassemble this unit for cleaning. We'll take a look at the inside next. So I put on my anti-static smock and wrist strap and we have our anti-static surface. Anytime that you are uh, where you can touch electronics, you need to provide anti-static precautions um, because it will damage or destroy the chips. The bottom plate has a secondary M.2 SATA storage, as well as <clears throat> a, a M.2 cooler for the SSD inside. We have two DDR4 3200 DIMM sockets for up to 64 gigabytes of memory. 
We have our 2230 radio type E M.2 so socket, which is wireless AX, which is good for up to 3.5 gigabits of transfer on wireless. And we have our 2280 socket and retaining screw right in here for a 2280 SSD for up to eight terabytes of SATA or PCI Express. You can see the uh, RS-232 serial port, the two USB 2.0 ports, and the USB 3.0 port for functional LIDs or extending your I.O. There is also a four-pin Molex Microfit connector right here, and that is for plugging in a locking DC cable uh, or for powering uh, functional uh, LIDs or for PoE. There is a GPIO header and a chassis intrusion header. And you can see the replaceable user replaceable battery. Right here along the front is a flexible ribbon cable connector. And this is for the two or the M.2 storage that's attached to the bottom plate. And that's your secondary SATA drive storage connector. The new Simply Nook Cypress is available in three different processor SKUs. The Ryzen V2748, the V2546, and the economical V2516. It's great for consumer, commercial, and industrial applications. Head over to simplynook.com at the links below and configure yours today. Thank you.